Today I decided to do this video outdoors to show you the importance of combining different kinds of trees and plants with animals, the environment, to have a very balanced place to work. And you see around me, all these trees and plants live together and they share resources, they help each other to keep this balance. It is the same that we do projects. Our life is a daily project. We share our daily life with people, resources, to accomplish something in projects. So today, I wanna to talk a little bit about different projects and experiences that I have with projects so you can understand the importance of combining people, technology with resources and time to have success. I remember some years ago, many years ago, that I was working in a project to create a new office for our business. They gave me the space, empty space, they gave me a budget, they gave me resources and only nine months. So I had to convert that empty space in a beautiful office, functional office in nine months. So we have to do all the permits, all the regulations, all the purchasing of materials, computer, information systems, telephone system, air conditioning, electricity, phone systems, fire alarm, extinguishers, you name it. We have to organize all this in nine months. At the same time, my wife was pregnant of our youngest son. So it was funny because while she was having all this month of joy and we were sharing our joy of having the development of our baby, at the same time, I was having the joy of creating this project with people and uh, making a reality the office. I remember that we did a very good plan with a very limited scope. We tried to keep our budget, our time and everything in place. Uh, we did a very work breakdown structure and beautiful schedule to be sure that we have everything in place. One of the rob blocks that we have in the middle was uh, related to permits, related to regulations, to local authorities that want more papers and more, uh, more uh, documentations. And this is part of the big issues in any project. You have to be sure that you're covering all the paperwork that you need to, to move. Another issue that we have is that we have to install a huge conference table inside our, our room and it didn't fit the stairs nor the elevator. So we have to remove one of the windows on the other side, we have to hire a big crane to move this table from the outside. The problem with the crane was the rain, so we have to add all this time to be sure that we have all in, in the proper schedule. Of course, if you are building, you are using a construction, you have to be sure that the cables go before the the carpets, the carpet go before the furniture, all, all this have to follow a specific sequence. So you learn a lot about projects. So at the end, after nine months, I was able to have my baby. I, that morning, my son was born in the hospital and then I was there with my wife looking at how a boy comes into this world. And in the afternoon, I had to change to be in the opening gala of our building with people, the media, the authorities, and I had to give a, a speech and the president of the company was there too. It was a, a big day for me uh, for our project. At the end, it was funny because I shared with the people that I had to go back to the hospital because my boy <laughs> was there with my wife and it was a great experience. That project was also related to international projects. We were in a company that has to deal with people in different play companies, in different countries. We have offices in Miami, Argentina, and we have people all over Latin America. And one of the things that happen in projects is that people believe that all Latin America is, is the same land. They speak the same language, and it's not. Each country has their own personality. So you go to Mexico, Central America, Panama, and all the way down to Ecuador, Peru, Chile, and, and Argentina, there are different ways to handle business. They have different way to have lunch, for example. We have very long lunch to talk about businesses. 
there it things you have to get used to the time schedules to the siesta times to the holidays sometimes they don't work on friday afternoon and you have to be sure that you are right to the city in the right place it's a lot of uh, mixing the social with the business environment and this is something that you have to know in Europe, I also have an experience with projects. We were doing um, a project to improve the control system and waste disposal of our nuclear reactor. And we were in a meeting with the French. When we arrived, the language was French. They didn't want to speak English. So I had to switch to Spanish and use an interpreter to translate Spanish to French and French to Spanish because somehow we can understand some of the words. So it was easy to do the, also the translation. At the end, we did our agreement. We have a, a lot of fun having our conversations. It was very interesting to learn from each other. And they invited me for dinner. When we went to dinner, we didn't have the interpreter. So we went to the restaurant and I said, oh my God, how we are going to communicate if we don't speak a common language? Well, at the beginning of the dinner, when they saw my face, the guy started to speak English to me. And then I asked, why you are now speaking in, in English, that is a common language, and we were not doing the same during our conversations? And the answer was simple. They told me, we do not talk about business in other language than French. French is the business language for us. English is just social and then I understood the importance of knowing other languages and other um, practices especially when you are also dealing with different currency different regulations different time zones and this is very important to know as you see managing project is not just to create a schedule and let's work you have to plan everything and you have to be ready to work under circumstances that are not in the plan. You have to be prepared to handle a crisis, an emergency, or to modify your plan in the middle of the journey. What I learned from this is that the best plan always can be modified, but it's very important that you have a very detailed plan when you are starting your journey, so you don't come out with surprises especially you have to go over the budget over the time and losing people because these are the, the biggest constraints that you're going to find in any project in next videos i will be continue sharing some of my experiences with different kind of projects big and small old and new that has to deal with people technology and the resources and remember that we are all in the same planet but Although we are in different countries or speak different languages, this only brings flavor to the mix. I believe that we are not in a melting pot. We are in a beef stew, in a big salad with all these components and these colorful components that create a healthy project. See you next time when we come out with another project, another ideas or another concepts in our videos.